Good morning, you wonderful people. Mmm, coffee. I love it. So, this morning, I am going to have to climb inside the tanks and start doing the internal welds at the bottom of the cone where it meets the cylinder. So, I think I'm going to take my time on this, drop the amps a little bit, wait for the puddle to form, move along, steady flow, and see if we can get a beautiful hygienic weld on the inside. Fail that, I'll just do it like I did before. It's good enough. And I also have to repair the mini the mini tripod that I've got, the black and red one. Now yesterday it snapped off at the neck part where it holds the, if you like, uh, the connector that fixes to the bottom of the cannon to the actual bendy pod bit itself. Now that is the weak spot. I've also ordered another one from the internet which is a Velbon. I use a Velbon tripod anyway for most of the normal uh, locked off shots in the shop. So this is a mini version, hopefully the uh, quick release shoe is compatible on both versions and then I might switch over to that. The only drawback is it doesn't have bendy legs. Well that's a good start, I get to work and some idiot has parked a silver banged up old van smack bang in front of my shutter doors. So I've left the passive aggressive note on the windscreen of course. So talking about the tripod earlier on, this is what we're dealing with. You can see that this plastic clamp section holds onto a plastic ball on the inside and it bites, nips down on it there and that holds the camera in place and practically all of that is what holds the camera on. And looking at it now, I can see this, that this isn't going to be able to be fixed because it has a preventative measure there to stop you accidentally separating and removing the camera from the tripod and of course that little thumb screw there goes straight through this plastic I would imagine thus weakening it maybe if they'd have actually filled it up with plastic in the mould instead of leaving a hole in there it would be more convenient but yeah das ist kaputt I imagine is the correct terminology for that unless of course I got rid of that little thumb screw thing Oh well, I'm not going to bother fixing it, I'll just wait till the new one comes and we'll put this in the bin. So I'm going to go inside the tank now, take the grinder in there. I'm going to dress the inside, remove any coking that came through from the external weld and then just start, just start taking away on the inside, boys and girls. ...and work out what the spread of the agent is oh. or might have been and this might give them some clue again as... Bit of smoke. <laughs> I set fire to the back in. What I've been doing on the inside is I've been putting a line on the tank where I have to finish. This time I ran an inch past, hence the uh, the flame. But I mean, it's, it's looking all right on the outside. All that neat weaving that I did on these welds has obviously now been absorbed into the into the solid the solid weld, if you like, the internal weld. But moving across to the inside. It is really simple along there, it's, it's flowing really nicely, you can see that little silver spot there where I've just stopped and the line, the red line on the tank, the two little black marks and the red line in the middle, that's where I should have stopped and I've just gone past, hence the smoke, not an issue, there's nothing really there that's gonna, going to ignite apart from a little bit of masking tape. The other one as well I had an incident with uh, I got halfway round and the backing bar actually fell off so when I came out of the cylinder it was coked up but I've managed to hit that with the grinding wheel and uh, she seems to be fine there doesn't seem to be any any nasty uh, breakout of carbide or whatever it's called so yeah I might just open the door let this smoke out rotate the tank continue I'm a fifth around this tank on the inside and it's about half past uh, 12, 1 o'clock now. I reckon I might get two of these done today. If I can get all three welded on the inside before I pick the kids up I'll be a happy man. I also put new pipe work on 
the regulators, so I've got loads now, loads of spare pipe to reach down to the welder and into the up to the backing bar. So I'm going to put the camera down, folks, and get in the tanks. I want to get these done quickly because it's getting to the stage now where all of the internal welding and everything is taking more time than the fit up, rolling of the tanks or anything. I want to put my finger down. I want to put my foot down, should I say, and uh, get these bashed out this week. I'd like to be, I'd like to be leak testing all five tanks come Friday. That's the plan. Well, everything ran smoothly on this tank until I reached a point where I'd blown through on the external weld and patching up on the inside, even though it was well backed, has made a real, real mess of that. So I'll, I'll revisit this when I come to polish it up and get this horrible looking mess out. I might be better off grinding this out and starting again. This is the worst boo-boo you might say that I've had with the old fabrication, but I th I'm confident that I'll be able to get around it. The inside looks a hundred times better than the outside, if I'm honest. The inside's smooth. The outside doesn't really matter as long as we can get down to good steel. I think we'll be good. You see, everything else is fine. It's all wetted in nicely, but just that piece was a real pain in the arse, you might say. Grinder and paint makes me the welder I ain't. Okay, that's it. Time already, three o'clock. Got to go and get the kids. I've turned everything off. I've got one tank left to do, and uh, I've probably got looking at it over my shoulder, just from the burnt bit there, round to there. Did you see on the clip as well? That's. Uh, I'm locked door. Yeah, did you see on the clip? When I crawled out the tank, I'd set the bloody uh, masking tape on fire. So there would have been a load of smoke bellowing out behind me. I'm mad, aren't I? It's only masking tape though, it's not the end of the world. So yeah, I've got to go and get the kids. I want to come back down as well and get this tank done today, because I feel like I'm really cracking it. So I'm just going to put the padlock on and uh, we'll be back, hopefully. Hopefully, in half an hour. Okay, madam, we've just got to wait for Dominic to come home from school and then we're going to nip down to work, okay? Yep. Right on. Can you hear the dog upstairs rattling around on the floor? So we've got a tablet for Abigail to watch. Dominic's on the other laptop, the old work laptop. The heating's on. <laughs> Cookie swirl C. And we, me and Dom are gonna have um, pot noodles. Yeah, we're having pot noodles. Yeah. It's, a, it's a healthy vegan option. It's a difficult business, this dad thing. Oh yeah, and if you've not noticed. Back up. Well, that was a surprise. I've just had my Argos challenge. Uh, grinder, pack up on me. Oh my god, it has as well. So I've had this for probably 10 years and I've changed the bushes in it and all sorts. Oh yeah, she's poopy pooped. I felt it going and it started going dzz, dzz, and then all of a sudden it's just, it was full speed and it just seized. Grinder's just packed up on me. Is it the same old one? It's the old one, yeah, but it's all it's bent. Let me see the uh, angle on everything. Well, that's the guard, actually. No, ignore that. When did you get this one, 
I bought that one from Screwfix. When you bought the bench? Yeah, a few weeks ago. Oh, well, I'll take the bits. Oh, it's red hot on the end. I've probably burnt it out. I've been running for an, about an hour. Mm -hmm. Well, I just chuck it down there. Swap discs. I can finish this with a flat wheel on the other one, so I'll be uh, five minutes, Gem, and then we can go home. Well, that's it. Monday, done and dusted. So, uh, all the tanks have the cones on. The cones are welded on the inside. There are finishing touches to be done on the inside. And there are lots of finishing touches to be done on the outside. Particularly cooling jackets, pipe work, connectors, that kind of thing. Remember that day when I made them out of paper on the uh, dining room table? That's a good feeling. Magic Rock High Wire Grapefruit as a reward. Oh. Delicious. Oh, gosh. Sink my foot the back than I thought then when I want to lean on it. <laughs> okay. So we're done, done for the day, Monday's over. I've got mayonnaise on my lips after eating that coleslaw. Uh, if I'm home tomorrow in time, it might be Wednesday, it might be Thursday, I'm gonna show you how to make some homemade coleslaw. Eh? I think you should do it tonight. No, it's not happening tonight because I haven't got enough mayonnaise or any Dijon. There's enough mayonnaise. I used English mustard in this one, but, uh, well I should use English really, shouldn't I? Yeah, screw it, we'll use English mustard. And colons, uh, Sold up or been bought out? I don't know. Mm, I think they have. They might belong to Unilever oh. now. See if I can buy, find some uh, local stuff. Yeah. All right. We're gonna go. We'll see you later on Tater Run because she's distracting me. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.